are to dance for the Lord Jesus. Hey! Yes. Are you listening? Yes, oh. There's a formula in the nightclub. Oh, yes. But there's no formula for the Lord Jesus. Hey! Oh yes, Father. Somebody shout, Jesus! Jesus! Today, something is taking place. Amen. I am seeing in my spirit, something is taking place. Amen. I'm telling you. I am telling you. From among of you. Oh yes. People are flying. Oh yes. People are flying. Amen. People are flying to the possession. I'm seeing in my spirit. Or the spirit of living God. Amen. Jesus. I'm seeing somebody moving to his destiny. Say after me. Satan. Satan. Listen to me. Listen to me. Whatever you say about me. Whatever you say about me. It's all about lies. It's all about lies. I am. I am what the Lord says I am. What the Lord says I am. Therefore, Therefore I am moving to my destiny. I am moving to my destiny. Move. I am moving. Move. I am moving. Maranatha family to die, to be made, to be def def destroyed and whatever. Oh, yes. But right now, uh -huh. the family of Maranatha is dancing oh. something like never oh. ever. Oh. Oh. You know, even though the worshiper says, Abonga, uh, Jesu, they didn't know, but the Holy Spirit is telling them to Aye. say Abonga Jesu. Aye. We thank the Lord. Do you know why? No, no, dead. It was the declaration. Uh -huh. No Maranatha member to come to the church today. Oh. But she are born. Oh. Oh. Because according to the enemy's plan, uh -huh. today is the funeral service of Prophet Abera. Oh. Shabba! Heaven is a lion! Listen, I want to tell you one thing. Devil is a very foolish. Uh -huh. Why? Ask me. Why, Daddy? I was already dead 2009. Uh -huh. But one word I hear from the Lord Jesus, not from angel, uh -huh. not from anybody else, no, no. from the angel of the Lord. Uh -huh. And the Lord says, Jesus says, my son, he didn't finish his job. Uh -huh. Taking him back. I didn't even start the job. Uh -huh. How can I'm going to die? No way! <laughs> Listen, tell for your neighbor, there is a new sun. There is a new sun. Rise. Rise. For your destiny. For your destiny. From today. From today. Maybe you, enemy and your neighbor. Maybe your enemy and your neighbor. They will be surprised about you. They will be surprised about you. Do you believe that? Tell him. Do you believe Do that? Do you believe that? Yes. Say only hallelujah. Listen, do you know 
automatic automatic car automatic yes daddy we know you know anything automatic yes daddy some of you uh-huh. is like that Yo, all of a sudden you are going to shift like automatic get on now. You know, I <laughs> It's the time of automatic. Amen. I receive it. Jesus. Maranatha family, be ready. Yes, daddy. Your time of death is over. Oh, yeah. Your time of difficulty is over. Oh, yeah. Your time of trouble is over. Oh, yeah. Now is the time of destination. Yeah. Hey. Move. Jesus. You know what I'm telling you? I'm telling you the news from heaven. Amen. But for who? For flush. Uh-huh. For those who are flush for the Lord Jesus. Hey, Drona. Rama Shogela Matia. Yo. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Are you with me? Yeah, hey, and Papa. From today. As I said, from today. Uh-huh. Whatever devil is still in the take from you and eat it. He is start vomiting. Atase! 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 This is my word. Amen. You will see. Yes, daddy. Oh yes, Lord. Jesus. Some I told you some of you you become like automatic. Oh yes. How? I know him. Uh-huh. Yeah. Obama Kadiz. <laughs> Obama Kadiz. Ay! 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 Obama Kadiz. Yes. You surprise them. Yes. Yeah. Ha. Ha. When they see you, you looks like, you know, looks old and, you know, but all of a sudden, you become young. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And so promoted. Uh-huh. And they start exploring Aye. yourself. Aye. Are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What you are going to say? Siabonga Jesu. Siabonga Jesu. Lord, we thank you. The secret is not you. No, no. The secret is not you pray. No, no. The secret is anything else. Uh-uh. Only the Lord's provision. Amen. Yes. Maybe seated. You look like tired. Thank you, Daddy. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I open your grave. In the, in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody receive the breakthrough upon your life. I receive it. May the plan of the enemy must be disqualified. In the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are blessed. Amen. Tell for your neighbor, I'm blessed in this new day. Wonderful new day. I'm blessed in this new day. Tell, tell for your neighbor, I'm blessed. I am blessed. What about you? What about you? I have a wonderful message today. Amen. The message title is Plugging into the Power Source. Plugging into the Power Source. Plugging. Yes. Uh-huh. Some of you, maybe, why you are struggling? What is the problem, Steve? You are working hard, you don't be benefited. You're working God, you are never profess, uh, prosper. You are working God, nothing is happening. Maybe you are reading the Bible, but you don't understand. Oh, yes, Maybe daddy. you are worshiping or singing nice, but you, you never come out. Oh, yes, daddy. What is the problem? Oh, yes. I, want to, I want to speak to you. I want to challenge you this morning. Plugging into the, the power, power source. source. Amen. Because some of us, maybe we plug without the source. When the electricity off now, in this minute, if the electricity is off from the municipality, you are not going to see any electrical power here Indeed. because it's already the source is off. 
Oh, yes. We are plugged on right now. The, the, the television, the voice, and whatever, what you see, the light gives in us because of it is plugged in with the source. Otherwise, we buy the airtime, mm -hmm. which is going to give us, to connect us to uh, the power source. Mm -hmm. in, the, in, the, in the capacity or in the kingdom of God, in the kingdom of God, without plugging uh, into the power source, it is impossible to receive the beneficiary of your kingdom, uh, manufacturing industry or industrial, uh, industrial what benefit. You have to. When you have a bank, you are going to go into the customer relationship there. How you have to open. They will ask you the first thing is your identity. If you don't have identity card, you are not going to open. Whatever you are rich, whatever you are mighty man or billionaire or millionaire, the first thing the assistant she will ask you, may I have your ID document or driving license or something about you? Because in the kingdom of God, in the same way, the God's kingdom angels, the God kingdom uh, messengers, they want to know you who you are. By what? By identity. Amen. 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 Let's go to the book of Paslam, chapter 60, verse 12. What David talking about? Plugging in. You know, this guy. He's so plugged in. He is so communicator. He loves God. He lives with God. He loves the Holy Spirit. He manifests the Holy Spirit. He's a giant man. To go out to the war without God's plan, before he plug in, he don't go. He will ask the Lord, may God, may I go? May I am going to win? When I'm going to get a victory, may I go? Please, people of God, before you go to apply your job title and whatever, please ask, may I go to that company? Before you come to Maranatha even, may I go? Is it your place? Is it that is a man of God? Is it really you are going to found yourself there, Father? May I go there? May I go to the profit office? May I go to the marketplace? May I go to buy a car? May I go to marry a woman? May I go? Father, is it your will? Oh, yes. Why? In this moment, God doesn't have such a, such a people. Why people marry what they want to marry? Why people communicating without God's plan? Why? Jesus. David always loved to ask something. Jesus. <coughs> With God, we will gain the victory. With God. Oh, yes, Jesus. That's the only sentence. With God, we only get the victory. Without God, there's no victory. If you go out to march, if you go out to make a business, if you go out to look for a job, if you go out for whatever you are looking for to do, without God, no victory. Amen. This is the secret I bring to you today. Amen. This God give it to me to talk to you. I know so many of you, you go out with the inspiration, with the word of encouragement today. You know yourself what are you doing. You know what you are going to do also. Now David says, with God. Oh yes, Jesus. We will gain. Huh. Not only victory, we will gain. Oh yes. We will gain. Amen. Gain means, and this sentence what David is talking about is, he is victorious, but again he gaining. Oh, yes. Increasing. Hallelujah. Accessing. Accessing. Oh, yes. Coming in power. Acquiring. Jesus. Increasing. Taking a capacity. Oh, yes, Jesus. Putting his feet from where he is to the next level. Amen. Jesus. He was, yes, he was victorious. But now he says, gaining. gaining. Oh, yes, Jesus. Benefiting. We know only this word of gaining when our body is increasing. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. No, in a victory also. Amen. Jesus. In a prosperity also. Amen. In a spiritual capacity also. Amen. Come on, daddy. 
Jesus. Is somebody with me yes, this morning? Oh. From time to time, from the level to the another level, Amen. from dimension to another dimension. Amen. Jesus. Somebody say, I am gaining. I am gaining. Jesus. What a wonderful man this is. He knew the power source. He knew how to speak, David. I love him so much. Amen. He is a man who is worshiper. Amen. When you start worshiping the Lord, the spirit of worshiping will instruct you. Amen. Whatever it is, you know, in the, in the presence of worship, there's no closed doors. Uh -huh. Do you not understand that? Yes, daddy. Mm. I can bring you Silas and uh, Benabas. Mm. Sorry. Saul and Silas and Paul. What they were doing? They were playing game. Eh? In the prison. What they are doing? In the midnight. When the prisoner is sleeping. They say, Sia bonga Jesu. Amen. Sia bonga Jesu. Amen. Jesus, yes. When they start saying, Jesus, what happened? The Ezekiel came from the heaven. Amen. To do what? To release the prisoners. Not, not only for them. It is not only breakthrough for them. It is a breakthrough who arrest with them. They are getting in to bring the Ezekiel for those who are arrested. Amen. You are. Listen, you are highly anointed to release someone from the prison to the destination. Amen. Praise the Lord. Listen, you are not prosper only for yourself. You are prosper to take care of charity for Amen. someone to serve. Amen. I don't understand the moment Christianity. We only eat, we only die. No! I, I want to tell you something. If you are arrested, don't cry. God wants to do miracle in some prison because of you. Are you listening there? No. If the enemy come to together, it means one thing you must understand. You are so powerful. Ah. You are so powerful. That's why they are coming together. Yes, Jesus. David says in Psalm 122, verse 5, he says, Father, send the enlightening from the heaven. It's cut at them. Woo! Amen. Within the one enlightening, your enemy will be destroyed. Why? You are plugging the power of the sword. Hey. Hey, hey! I am not touchable. Hallelujah! Amen. One thing is clear. There is a power inside of you. Jela pone asakia. Rega. Shekane osokia. Somebody say Jesus! Jesus! What is going on? There is a power. Don't only singing. There is a power. No! Oh. Apply it. Amen. Exercise it. Amen. You have to gym it. Amen. Praise the Lord. I am a crazy today. Not only me, you will be crazy also. Amen. I know who I am. Amen. And I know where I came from. Amen. You are designed by God not to blind. Amen. Not to blind in. But to stand out. Amen. Are you listening? Yes, sir. Not to blind. No, no. You, God designed you. But if you try to change that design, it means you don't have dependency by who created you. That's the problem. So many of us, we want to design ourselves in a new design. No, no, no. I am designed by God himself. 
That's why I'm original always. Amen. Praise Jesus. Take yourself. Be confident in yourself first of all. How could you are going to help someone whether you are not confident first of all? Believe by yourself how much you are so confident. How much you are so strong enough. How much you are I listen. Hey. Hey. Jesus. Let, let me go this side. Mm -hmm. hey. Are you hearing what I'm saying yes, there? Daddy. You must show us love from your family, from your house. Amen. Don't try to look like a lover on the street. Yes. Fake love. Let's see the love from your wife, from your children, from your family day in the house. Amen. A person doesn't love his family. How could he's going to love his congregation? No way. Experiencing from your house. Amen. Experiencing Holy Spirit from the house. Amen. Experiencing breakthrough from the heart. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Okay. God is speak. Hey. I remember I was here. When I just walking here, God says, Kwazulu Natal. Kwazulu Natal. Dad, what is happening? He says, the wicked people. I don't know why they didn't put it there. I speak that. Wicked people. I'm saying, pew, 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 pew. and that, that is my explanation. Maybe you, UK English, is going to give you another explanation. You know, mine is American version. It's so simple, easy. You understand? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I saw the dead people where in KwaZulu Natal. Are they dead that moment? No, they are no. Dead. But I see in my spiritual, my spiritual eyes. Oh yes, Father. Huh. The same night, seven o'clock, this tragedy happened. Yes, Daddy. I see one o'clock. Uh huh. Seven o'clock at night. Mm. Automatically. Amen. That's why I say automatic blessing. Automatic change. Automatic. Autom hey. Automatic. Automatic. Uh, listen, I'm sorry for those, those who are driving manual. I'm sorry for you. <laughs> you are doing daily work. I'm sorry for you. You know, genuinely, very genuine, put driving, hold the steering. Concentrate on the way. Nowadays, Christians are manual drivers. They love to drive everywhere. They don't concentrate. They put gear one, second, charge, four, five. They don't. They can't continue because there's no seven, eight, nine, ten. I. They love to visit from one church to the other. Ah. Number one. Number two. <laughs> Come on, daddy. Are you sure? What kind of Holy Spirit inside of you? Because you are checking because of you are greater. Why you didn't become a prophet or apostle? <laughs> what are you checking for? <clears throat> I'm so amazed. They are checking from one church to the other. It means you have something greater yeah. than anybody else. Why you didn't become an apostle? Or, why don't you open the church and just, just minister there? Good point. <laughs> if you are checking, checking, today here, tomorrow, Pretoria, Zeres, Mafike, there. Checkpoint. What, what do you want to bring? Jesus is coming. Amen. Amen. Jesus. 
One of my spiritual daughters, she sent me a WhatsApp. Amazing. I saw this vision on Friday. She sent me to this morning. She had a dream. In this dream, she was in her mother's place. Then she's seeing there's an ID book on the sky. On this book, she tried to follow and she went out to do, through the window. She wanted to capture. But the ID book disappeared to the cloud. All of a sudden, as she says, she came back and when she again see, the ID book come back and coming down and down and down. All of a sudden, it's changed from the ID book to the book, big book. And that book come down to the earth. I was so wondering, maybe some of us, we think we are so great and pastors and prophets and evangelists. The way how she give me explanation of the vision. I was so wondering and amazed. She sent me also the vision back out. She says, now, Jesus is coming. The book of life is sent to the earth to check who is in the book oh, and who is not in the book. Man. Mm. I was so shocked. This is me and my wife, we were discussing on, on Friday these this, this things. And she copied. Because she applied herself into the power plant, the power, the power source. source. Oh, yes. She now is. she starts sucking the power now. Amen. It's not a time we are going to be busy or making ourselves busy. It's a time we have to check ourselves. Is it my name is in the life of, in the book of life? Amen. Now the book is already down. We have to check ourselves. What does it mean? The book is down. Now Jesus is about to come. Oh yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Let's go to Isaiah chapter. Okay. May you finish for me. David chapter 16 verse 12. With God we will gain the victory and he will trample down our enemies. Trample down. Yes. Not just making down. Only trouble down. Who? Our, our enemies. enemies. By what? By victory. By what? By gaining. You cannot start your victory once and you finish once. No. You have to gain. You have to gain. From ten, five minutes, you have to gain ten minute prayer. From ten minutes, you have to gain fifteen, twenty, one hour, two hour, three hour. That is how yes. you are going to gain. Oh, yes. Not only by saying, I receive it. Mm -mm. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go to Isaiah chapter. What is the title? What was the title? Plucking in the power source. Can I hear from you? What, what is the message title? Plucking in the power source. Can't you see? I told you today, you are different. You are automatically uplifted. Amen. Even your voice is so lovely. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 59, verse 19. You are unique. You are different. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you there? Yes, daddy. Okay, let's go there. From the west, people will fear the name of the Lord. And from the rising of the sun, they will revere his glory. For he will come like a pent-up flood. That the breath of the Lord drives along. This is the prophet. It's not a teacher or evangelist. This is the prophet speaking about the coming time, about now. Oh, yes. He's talking about how the people are going to fear oh, yes. the name of the Lord. Amen. How the demons, how the devil, how strangers they are going to fear the name of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, there was a DNA in the in, inside of David. He is a shepherd, little son. He was shipping somewhere in the bush, you know. But one day he go to his brothers. When he